I'll preface this by saying I've been having a lot of interactions for whatever the reason on Twitter in the past week about single payer health care. There's a gaggle of people out there who just can't wait to talk about this. Right? right. And I keep pointing out that here in the United States, we have and have had a single single payer health care system for quite some time. It's called the Veterans Administration, the VA hospitals. And here's the thing. Nobody who has a choice wants to go to those hospitals. Right. They, they, they are profoundly bad in comparison. Now, they may be better than some third world hospitals, but they're not better than the basic hospital you're going to find in any mid-level American city or better. And a story out of Boston that happened in Bedford, Massachusetts, caught my eye in literally in the middle of a, a pretty heated discussion on Twitter. What other kind is there, right? <laughs> uh, about whether we should all have single pair. Um, a patient was found dead in the stairwell in Bedford, Massachusetts, and he had been, he'd been missing since May. Yeah. Now, it's, it's well into June here. The VA hospital lost a human being in their stairwell. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Think about layers of accountability that mustn't exist in that hospital for that to have been even remotely possible. The first thing that came to my mind was, doesn't somebody sweep up the stairs at least, oh, I don't know, once a week? Right, right. Apparent, apparently not. So here's a man um, thus far unidentified. I'm sure this is going to get more interesting as more information trickles out. But if you ever needed an indication of the level of concern the VA, a single payer healthcare system, has for its patients, here it is. Here it is. And, and why do they have so little regard for their patients? Because their patients have no other options. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of that story. Incentives matter. I think yeah. somebody said that once upon a time. It, sit, it sticks in my mind as if I've heard it before. And the important thing here, the driving force is that the people don't have an option. This isn't a government thing per se. We see it with uh, you and I have the same problem with our Internet service providers. We're Damn constantly straight. complaining about the level of service. It, these are private companies. It's not private versus government. It's the fact that we have no alternative. Right. When I can't walk away. Just one option, and you're you're going to live with that option because you yep. don't have another one. Um, although on that happy note, Elon Musk did just send another sixty odd satellites into geostationary orbit to bombard the planet. We talked about this on a previous episode. Right. Um, yeah. So a, 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 another batch of satellites went up just last week. So yeah. isn't that interesting? Yeah, we're, we're going to have wall-to-wall Wi-Fi. Yeah, we're all going to have another option soon. And the happiest part of that is that the North Koreans will too. That's going to be interesting. Try that and jam be. that signal.